In this question, we are going to divide this out. And the way to do this is we are going to use the long division. And the reason is because we have the binomial in the denominator, right? And also, this is 3x plus 2. This is not x plus a number or x minus a number. So we cannot use the synthetic division. Long division is the way to go, OK? So let's go ahead and draw a long division symbol like this. And the top right here goes inside. Notice we have x to the 4, x to the 3rd power, x to the 2nd power, x to the 1st power, and the term that has no x, right? All the powers right here are present, so we don't have to skip. We don't have to put down any serial x, whatever. Just write them down right here. So I will do that for you guys. 12x to the 4th power plus 8x to the 3rd power minus 3x squared plus 13x plus 16. And of course, make this slightly longer. And then right here, we have the 3x plus 2. And now, this is how we are going to get to work. We are going to figure out what do we need. And the way to do that is you cover this up, okay, just the first term right here. And you also cover these up, just the first term. You are going to ask yourself, what times 3x will give you 12x to the fourth power? And once again, I'm copying this up and I'm copying that up. I'm just looking at this as what times 3x will give me 12x to the fourth power? We know 4 times 3 will give me 12, right? So that's good. We need a 4. And this is x to the fourth power. This is x to the first power. So we need x to the third power. And we just talk about it. We need x to the third power. I'm going to line them up right here. This is my x to the third power line, like this. OK, so I'm going to need a 4x to the third power. And let me just write this down better for you guys. Once you identify what you need right here, you go ahead, take this, multiply with that. 4 times 3 is 12. And you see x to the third power times this x give me the x to the fourth power. The first term right here should always be canceled out when you are doing the long division. And you see they are canceling each other out, OK? And then also be sure you take the 4x to the third power times this, because we have two terms right here. This times that, 4 times 2, give me the 8, right? It's positive. And that's the x to the third power times. This has no x, so just x to the third power. And this is what we have. And when we're doing long division, we are going to subtract. So let's put a negative and then a parenthesis around it. And do this really, really carefully. First, we have 12x to the fourth power minus 12x to the fourth power. So they cancel each other out. That should be the case all the time for the first term. Next, this is, neg this is positive, x, positive 8x to the third power minus another 8x to the third power. They happen to cancel each other out as well. It's not my fault, right? So just cancel each other. That's very nice. So for this part right here, we have 0. And then we bring this down, OK? So let me write this down as negative 3x squared. And usually, if we have two terms right here, we should also bring down two terms when we are doing the long division. This was out already. It was 0. So I should also bring this down together with that. So let me write down plus 13x. And now, cover this up, cover that up. So let's see. Put it like this. Well, it could, could, could have been. No, better, yeah? OK. What times 3x will give me negative 3x squared? Let's work on a number. This is positive 3. This is negative 3. So I need to have a negative 1, right? And then this right here is x to the first power. This right here is x to the second power. So we need another x. Therefore, I need negative x. And that's negative x. That's the x term. So I'm going to line them out right here. Put down negative x. You see that once I put this down, I will take this and multiply with the first term right here. Negative 3. Let me put this down right here. x times x will give me x squared, right? And then we continue. Negative times 2, so this is negative 2, but this is the x term, x times the 2, so we have the x right here. So this is the result, but then be sure you put a negative and then a parenthesis because you have to subtract all this. 
and for the first term, they will always cancel out. Okay, otherwise you are doing something wrong. It is canceling it out because when you have negative three minus negative three, it's as saying negative three plus three. So the x squared term becomes zero. That's out. This is positive thirteen, right? Minus negative two. Well, it's the same as thirteen plus two, which is fifteen. So we'll put down fifteen. And this is the x term, so of course we maintain the x, and then we bring this down, which is the plus sixteen, and then do the same thing, cover this up, cover this up, just the first term. What times three x will give me fifteen x? We have the x match already, so three times four will give me fifteen, five, right? And that's a positive five, so I just need to put down a positive five. Five times three x will give me exactly fifteen x, and then five times plus two is plus ten. And then once again we subtract this whole thing, so put a parenthesis around it. Fifteen x minus this fifteen x is zero. Good. And then we have sixteen minus positive ten. Sixteen minus ten is six. And you see, we are done. This is the remainder. This is the most that we can do. At the very end, this is how we are going to write down our answer. We will write this down as a mixed expression. This right here is the polynomial part. Okay, so we have the four x to the third power minus x plus five, and then this is the remainder part, and this is the positive six, right? Because this is the positive six, we will be Adding, if this was a subtracting, if this was a negative six, we'll be subtracting. But this is positive six, so we add, and we put a six on the top over the original denominator, three x plus two, and be sure we cannot cancel anything right here. So don't cancel anything. I cannot reduce the three and the six. Don't do that because the, this right here is a parenthesis like that, right? It's a factor by itself and. This is the most that we can do. This right here is the answer. That's it.